I'm Tuffy Stone, and the dish that I'm making today is dove breast wrapped in bacon, grilled, and served with shishito peppers, all tossed in the Alabama barbecue sauce. Okay, so today I'm cooking up my good friend Byron Chisholm's magical place called The Butt Ranch. He's got every live fire cooking apparatus you would ever want and more. He's uh, kindly allowed me to do some cooking out here at his cool little place. It, it's the fall, it's dove season, and I like to hunt and fish. And when I start to hunt and fish, I'm always trying to think of creative dishes that I can make with the products that I harvest. So the first thing we're gonna do to start this recipe off is I've taken bacon strips, I've cut them in half, and I'm gonna do a light sprinkle of my classic barbecue rub over the bacon. It's gonna go into an oven at 350. We're gonna cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're looking just to par cook this bacon. We're looking to render out some of the fat so that when we go to wrap the dove breast, we do not wanna overcook. We want that dove breast to be cooked to medium rare. So by par cooking the bacon, it's just going to make it easier to crisp up the bacon without overcooking the dove breast. So the next step, we're gonna take our shishito peppers. We're gonna uh, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on them, season them with a little salt and pepper and toss them. If you're not familiar with shishito peppers, uh, they're really interesting because um, you might eat four or five that are very mild and occasionally you get one that's uh, really hot. So they're a little fun because th th there's a little surprise around the corner sometimes when you're eating them, but I'm gonna grill these shishitos directly over the hot coals and blister them, soften them just a little bit. And you, you've gotta use your instincts a little bit. You gotta, you gotta use your eyes and you gotta use a little bit of touch, but I want that char. I want a little bit of the burn on the shishito. I don't want to get the pepper mushy, so I don't want to overcook it. So I find more success when the grill's really hot and, and it's just going to be a really fast thing. And I'll, I'll get a little color on one side, then spin it and get a little color on the other side. So I'm blistering it. It's cooking a little bit, but there's still some texture to the shishito pepper itself. I walked into the kitchen to check on the bacon and the kitchen just smelled so lovely. Combination of bacon and my barbecue rub, it just, it smelled so delicious. So I set a timer for 15 minutes and basically I just wanted to render the, some of this fat out. I don't want the bacon to be crispy. Now I'm gonna let it cool. So this recipe came to be because I like to hunt and fish. So uh, in Virginia, dove hunting is a, is a pastime that I've been participating in since I was a, a teenager. These dove breasts were just harvested days ago. So the next step in this is we're gonna season our dove press. Today I'm using my Tuffy Stone Classic Barbecue Rub, but you could use your favorite barbecue rub. You could season them with just salt and pepper. It's your choice. Um, I'm reinforcing the same flavors that I put on the bacon by putting this rub on the dove breast. I, I will say um, the only way you're gonna be able to get the dove to my knowledge is to either go out there and harvest them yourselves or have a friend that does. Some of the things to really pay attention to, first of all, these were shot with a shotgun, so there could be some pellets in there, so you need to you know, feel with your fingers and see if you can feel any. Another critical step with this is I don't wanna overcook that dove because if we do, it'll get a, a liver-like taste, so just don't overcook it. So now that I've seasoned my dove breasts on both sides, I'm now gonna roll them in the bacon, uh, wrap them up, and toothpick them. You know, if you, if you don't have dove and you want, to do, you want to do a riff on this recipe, uh, you could use uh, duck would be delicious. You could use pheasant. Uh, of course, we could use chicken if we wanted to. We could use pork. I mean, if you wanted to take pork tenderloin and cut it into strips, the bacon with the pork tenderloin and the shishitos and Alabama white barbecue sauce would be delicious. So I've wrapped my uh, dove breast in the rendered bacon, seasoned them with the classic uh, barbecue rub, and now I'm gonna grill them directly over the coals, turning them as needed, cooking the dove breast till the meat is 128 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so the bacon's uh, crisped up, the dove is done. Now the finishing step is I'm gonna brush both sides of the bacon wrapped dove breast with the Alabama white barbecue sauce. So this Alabama white barbecue sauce is one of the first that I ever did. It's a celery seed Alabama white barbecue sauce. I've got it on my website and I've also got it on my YouTube channel so you can look it up. It's a celery seed white barbecue sauce.
So I've brushed both sides of the bacon wrapped dove breast with a celery seed white barbecue sauce. Now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of the white barbecue sauce on the shishito peppers, toss them in the bowl, and I'm gonna just uh, finish the dish by heating up the shishitos just to briefly set the celery seed white barbecue sauce. All right, so that's the dish. Uh, if you're a dove hunter or you got a friend that likes to dove hunt and you got some dove breast, it's just uh, dove breast wrapped in bacon, grilled, little barbecue rub on there, finished with a celery seed white barbecue sauce, blistered shishitos. Again, I finished them with the white barbecue sauce, simply seasoned with olive oil, salt, and pepper, grilled them, and that's the dish.